Dear friends, the United Nations considers access to water and sanitation a basic human right. It is also a key to reaching the Millennium Development Goals. It is an indispensable part of the new Sustainable Development Goals to be decided by the United Nations General Assembly next year. Let us talk and think a little bit about what this challenge means for people around the world. Can you imagine schools and health centers without toilets? This is the reality for many, many people in our world. More than a billion people today have no access to a toilet. They have no choice but to practice open defecation, to take care of their needs out there in the open. This is an affront to human dignity. It is damaging to people's health and it makes no sense financially. Globally, lack of sanitation costs around $260 billion in health care and lost productivity. The benefits of action are huge. For every dollar invested in improving sanitation, the return is more than $5. Such a financial gain comes in addition to the immeasurable value of averting human suffering. Open defecation imperils people's safety and health. Improving sanitation prevents disease and malnutrition. It helps children survive and thrive. It allows communities to flourish. It allows nations to prosper. We are making some progress, I admit. Since 1990, 1 1.9 billion people have gained access to sanitation. Global citizens like you can promote our work by breaking the silence around sanitation and open defecation. You can call on leaders to invest more in safe and clean toilets and in changing sanitation behaviors. I am Jan Eliasson, Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, a water and sanitation advocate and a global citizen like you. Join me and join millions of others around the world in fighting poverty and disease caused by a lack of clean water and decent sanitation. We must all stand up for a life of dignity for all. Water is life. Sanitation is dignity. Let's go to work.